Alright, and welcome to my tutorial on how to replace the cursor files in Zunineta skin to the long cursor. I have seen countless amounts of people ask how to do this. I've personally helped someone do this myself through Discord VC and her server, but I figured that hey, why not make a video tutorial that way it's a lot easier to follow if you do not personally know how to do this and that's okay if you don't. I know that if you're like just beginning to figure out stuff about skins, finding all these files and whatnot, it can be very very daunting at first. I was there, you know, so I understand. So I'm going to make this as easy as possible. Now I am personally doing this on my Mac. The process is very similar on Windows, just that some of the file windows may look a little bit different. Just ignore that. It's a fairly simple process, so we'll just, you know, just get right into it. So first you want to make sure that you actually have the skin downloaded and installed. If you don't, then you just want to go to Zunineta's Twitch channel, go to our chat, type in exclamation point skin, and then you'll get the download link. Just open that in Osu, and then you have the skin. You're gonna wanna have access to the skins folder itself, which is very simple to do, because in Osu, if you have the skin active from the drop-down menu, you will see a button underneath that that says open current skin folder. That's the easiest way to do it. If for some reason that doesn't work, you have to then go into the Windows run command, like type in app data percent, and then find it yourself manually, which isn't also that hard, but I am not going to show that on this video because of course I don't have the Windows run command, but there are countless other, other tutorials on how to do that. That'll be very helpful. So just find one of those yourself and then you're fine. But then now, once you open up the skins folder, you see that there are a ton of files as I explained earlier. The only ones that you want to really pay attention to are cursor PNG and cursor trail.png. This is the cursor that's on by default. Now you may be wondering, hey, where is the long cursor? Well, that's because it's in this extras folder. I have it at the top because I have it organized by the type of file. If you don't see it at the top, just make sure you, you can find it yourself. I'm going to open this in a new tab or a new window. It is recommended that you do that as well, just because it makes it a lot easier. From there, you see this subfolder called cursor. So I open that up and then now you have all of the cursors. So the, the one that you want is this Azer long trail folder. See, it's just right there. You have cursor PNG, cursor middle and cursor trail. This is the long boy. Now, what I'm going to personally do is make a new folder in here and title it blue because that way say that you don't really like this cursor and you want to go back to the original one if you just drag and drop these and click replace the files you won't have those files anymore they'll just be gone and then you'll have to re-download and reinstall the skin which takes more time um, so you just want to make sure that you have a folder in here that way you can always go back if you want to change anything so pretty simple to do this, go back to the main folder and then find cursor and cursor trail.png that are on by default. Just want to drag these and then drop them into the newly created blue folder. Just like that. And then now you'll have these files backed up. And then from there, you just want to do the opposite. You want to take the files that are in the Azure long trail folder, go to blue zoo and then put them right there. And then now these are active. Now you're not quite done yet. There's one more step you have to do, and that is to actually make Osu recognize that you changed your files within the folder. And how you do that is pretty simple. You just want to do Control Alt Shift and S on the keyboard, and then that will that is the command that Osu says, "Hey, I want to refresh the skin." So it'll take a little bit of time. Refresh the skin. And then now you should have the long cursor active and usable. From there, you know, it may seem a little bit big at first compared to what's on Zuninato stream. That's fine, you know. The uh, cursor middle file is probably bigger than the one that she has. Just want to like adjust the cursor size because doing that will also adjust the cursor trail width. 
and that is of course with the um, O2 setting and not going into Photoshop or something because that is a lot more complicated. <laughs> So that's how you do it, you know? It's a fairly simple, straightforward process. It's also a great introduction on creating a mixed skin, which my personal skin is a mixed skin with some custom elements. I digress. If you enjoyed the video, if you found that helpful, um, go ahead and make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to. There's no, there, uh, there is no forcing you to do that. I don't really care. <laughs> um, if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to also leave a comment. I'll try to help you out where I can. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And then I will see you on the next one. Uh, have a nice night.